Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Border Gateway Protocol. Specifically, within BGP, we're going to be taking a closer look at IBGP and BGP authentication. I'm also going to explain to you what you would use IBGP for. And IBGP is most commonly used when you are connected to the internet via two different routers or exit points out of your autonomous system. IBGP allows you to manipulate traffic exiting your autonomous system using BGP attributes such as local preference. And it should also be known that all IBGP routers must peer to each other. And if this is not the case, then routing loops and black holes can occur. And there are ways to offset the IBGP full mesh rule, where all IBGP neighbors should be connected to each other. And this is through, this can be done through means or ways such as using route reflectors or confederations. So there's a couple of differences right off the bat you can see between IBGP and external internal BGP and external BGP. External BGP you can use the AS path attribute to manipulate. However with with IBGP what we're going to find out is, is we're within the same autonomous system number. In this case we have a router 1 and router 3 and autonomous system 100. So we cannot manipulate and BGP has no way of using the autonomous system path number as a means to manipulate any of its configuration and how it knows how to get around the, the network. So that is why we're going to see that all IBGP routers must have a connection to all other IBGP routers unless you're going to have major issues. So one of the first things we're going to find out within IBGP is that you don't have to be directly connected to a router like we see in external BGP. So in external BGP, our lab, we had R1 and R2 connected to each other via the 12 network, and they peered to each other using their neighbor addresses. So for instance, router 1 had the neighbor address of 12.12.12.2 and router 2 had the neighbor address of 12.12.12.1 now I'm not saying you cannot change this within external BGP because you can use what's called eBGP multi-hop to do this however the default rules for external BGP is that you peer over the directly connected interface what we're going to see though is with iBGP this is not the case and what we're going to do is we're going to peer using our loopback interfaces. And that is the most commonly used method in a lot of networks today. And if you think about it, it makes sense because if you peer directly with the directly connected IP address, well, what happens if that link goes down? Well, then your BGP neighbor relationship is going to go down. However, if you peer using a loopback, well, loopbacks will never go down. And so if you have multiple ways to reach the router, then you kind of safeguard your connection when you peer to a loopback because if you have three ways to get to a router 